What's going on YouTube? So today I have the new Lenovo M720Q desktop. We're gonna install some RAM in it. Stuff right here. So I've got uh, another eight gig DIMM of DDR4 that I'm gonna put in this thing for a customer. I got my handy dandy little uh, vessel. This is a, a Vessel 220W ball handle screwdriver. I love this thing, I use it all the time. It's got the, uh, the flippable handle, comes with a couple of these. I'm just gonna flip that guy over. The first thing we need to do is there is a screw right here. You gotta remove that thing. So, get that guy going. Make sure you don't lose it. Put it in a safe spot. All right, so then this little thing right here, that's the RAM door. So what you gotta do is like this whole top cover here that comes up like so. So I'm just gonna use my thumbs like so. Something like that, right? So we got our little grease there, so we pushed it up. And then that's that's really it. So and once we do that to the back of the RAM door here, should be the same thing, just like so. So then pull this guy off, that'll expose your internal components. So in here. We see we've got DIM1, DIM2, and then we've got a hard drive bay. So that's our uh, little M2 guy going on there for a hard drive. So it doesn't look like uh, you could put another hard drive here, but there's not the connector. So like uh, wouldn't do uh, a whole hell of a lot. So take my uh, other DIM here. All right. So try not to touch it like down there and stuff. Grab it by up here, right? So, right here, I see we've got the sticker. So I'm gonna put the sticker side up. So, turn it around. I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna line up this little notch right here with that little notch right there. All right, so I pushed it in there. I actually lied to you, the sticker side is down because this is like uh, flipped over, but our notch is lined up, right? So I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna push it down, just like so. Here, click in there, see these things get uh, nice and tight, just like that one. And then we are good with the installed RAM. So I'm gonna take my door here Put it back on, like so. So you set it down in there and then it just kinda, let's see, see if we can get that to go back into place here. Can be a little tricky sometimes. There we go. All right. Ram doors back in. I'm just going to slide it closed back like that. Flip it over. Take my screw. Put that back in. And we are good to go. So now, booting this guy up, it should register 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. See you guys next time.